for days, for fucking days, since Davy took off, and all the uh, has been listening to that whole tape, every minute, every second. At least it, it's given her an excuse to rest up and take it easy. After double checking last night's results, I am clearing you for duty. Although I still advise no heavy lifting for a week or two. You know, I believe isn't around. Where did she head off to? She has been pacing like a caged animal. I finally told her to go patrolling. But not to wander off too far. If she runs into trouble up there, I can run off to the rescue. But not if she's halfway to Charleston. For somebody who claims to only care about themselves, you seem to act like a mother hen a lot. A flow in your arm clad reptilian programming, perhaps. All three of you are among some of my prized assets. The time and asset. The future plans. I may be a mother hen, but you are my prized chickens. Love you too. And frankly, you're probably the only person I trust, relatively speaking, for our little grub trusts. What about all the, uh, is she fit for duty now? I'm a bit more concerned about her injury. She no longer needs a support for basic mobility. However, I really wish she'd take a few weeks, instead of a few days. That ain't gonna happen. We both know that. And if we keep Billy on more days, she'll just run off by herself. If we lose one more person, I'm going to say fuck it and run off to Pittsburgh with Jerry. And since I can't risk losing any of you, I can just advise you to take it carefully. But then again, that advice probably won't be heeded either. I'll pass that along if we head up to Pleasant Valley today. We'll have plenty of scorched. They are attracted to that place and probably roast like a mutt to a flame. I don't expect Rose to be of any help in your mission. She probably isn't even programming with information about their operations against the border. So when are we heading out? Is Billy all ready to go or is she still in the shower? Billy went out on a short patrol. I was just telling a bum here that I'm tentatively approving of a return to duty. I'd prefer it if you took a few weeks instead of a few days. That ain't happening. We take any longer and Billy will bolt. One mistake and we'll find her body a few weeks later. I'm not going to take that chance. Mass just needs to finish packing up our supplies and I figure we'll start the hike to police and folly. We'll stay clear of anywhere there's bound to be a fight until we get there. Everything is mostly packed. I've also included a copy of Project Sapphin in case you can't break through any encryption you find. I've also produced several fandom devices in case you need to make a straight decision. If you find yourself overwhelmed. I figured the only resistance we should encounter are scorched. Something about Rose and her insane broadcast seems to attract them. Maybe old memories. Not sure. Okay, I'm back from my morning job. These legs don't look this good naturally. I believe you called it a patrol of the immediate area. Not some pro-war exercise routine. I added some upper body exercise. Three scorch and a mole rat. Why? Does somebody want lunch or something? We'll be taking lunch on the road. Wheels up in half an hour. Wanna be there well before dark. With any luck, we'll camp out with Rose and be back here by tomorrow. Thank God, I've been going crazy the last few days. We Not nice. like it'll actually be dangerous. A few scored. All the raiders are already dead. I don't like the idea of camping next to that insufferable tin can. Suck it up, buttercup. It's the safest place there. I haven't seen scorch upgrade elevators yet. She might be a pain in the ass, but she's still an all lie of sorts. She knows we can shut her fun down at any moment if we have to. I'm surprised Max hasn't tried transmitting Morse code to her as well. I have made several attempts which she either hasn't received or hasn't indicated she has. At least, this may be a conscious decision or some factor of her programming. Either way, the mission holotape indicates we need to learn about that bloody character and his connection to the Order. I'm grabbing another cup of coffee and some more of that mud fruit puree before we head out. How's the link holding up there, base? Steph, Sar, a bit weak, but as long as I don't have to run, I think I'll be fine. I'll definitely need more time off my feet once we make camp, though. If we bunk with Rose, we won't really need to do any patrols. I spent a solid week with her when I was doing those damn jobs for her. Even got through her attempts at pretending to be a human raider. Most robots are programmed with an appearance of humanity, not inhumanity. I think the protesters wanting living ways being torn apart by Mr. Gutsies would disagree with you on that one, nice. At least we don't need to ask for directions. The top of the world can be seen from almost anywhere. I always get the feeling that Rose is watching everything we do. 
I can just see the train station. Want to take a quick one before we head up to the ski resort? Yes, please. I need to sit down on a decent bench. Maybe have a cigarette and see if that vendor bot has anything? Okay, it is so much better. Now where did I put my cigarettes? It's dangerous to go alone. It's dangerous to go in groups. It's just dangerous out there. So stock up here. Shut up, Timken. I still should have gotten more for selling you my extra stim packs. That hit the spot. If we get overwhelmed up there, we either head up to top of the world or we retreat down to the train station. No arguments, okay? None from me, greed. The station seems so much smaller. Before the war, this place was packed during the season. Came in on a train or two myself. I remember that feeling when I was in Huntersville. Destroyed sidewalks where I used to play hopscotch. Whispered, when my pup took me to breakfast, can still remember the smell of his morning cigarette. The first cup of coffee, always black as the mine. Second cup, with plenty of sugar. We can't get bogged down now. I think I've had a long enough break. Let's take it slow though. I can probably pick off any scorch as long as I have enough range. I figure we'll take the main road up. There are bits of cover between us and the entrance. Last time I was here there were many scorched up above the gates. In the towers. That old care. Those two barrels. Our first position. Quiet. But anything yet? No, wait. Two in the rear towers. But I can't line up a clear shot. A missed shot would give away our presence. Okay, that means we keep advancing until you can get that shot. I figure we might have to get up to the first gate and peer inside. Hey, bomb. You take the left side. I'll take the right side, ace. Take your pick. Line up that shot. Okay, I'm lining up. Pretty sure I can hit both of them quickly and I'll be ready for the rest of them when they charge. Okay, that's those two. But I see four more heading this direction. Coming at us. Help. I'm on it. Just show me your got um. Hurry up, Ace. I'm spotting three coming out of the lodge. Damn it. I missed. No, wait. I got one. Three minus one is two. They already have company. My god. Six or seven at least. I suggest we retreat back to the station. My gun is jammed. It's no use. We're pinned down. Find kill. Ain't going down like this. Besides, I'd lose the bet. Make them come to us. Oh great, we have another one coming up the road behind us. Wait, that's not a scorched! Guess who's here late to the fucking party? She wasn't even invited to. Delta Topsai, in the house, Helga Heffelfinger, the King Queen herself, no autographs as wipes.